Hello, TDSB families. It's Dr. Fiona Curry again. I'm a psychologist and a special needs parent. And today I'm going to be doing my third video and showing you how to use a first then board. This is a series of videos in which I'm hoping to give you a few tips to make your lives just a little bit easier. I can't, I can't believe it's been seven weeks since we've all been at home. You know, in the past, I would have been a little nervous if it was a long weekend, wondering what I was going to do to fill my son's time. I would have never believed that I could have survived seven weeks of this. And I bet you can't either, even if it's been really challenging. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to review what I talked about last week in my video about choice boards, and then we'll move on into how to use a first then board. So last week, if you remember, what I asked you to do was to gather a whole bunch of pictures that represent different items, activities, and foods that your child absolutely loves. And if you remember, I said, you don't need to have a printer or print any pictures out. You can actually just use the objects, create a choice bin so that you can either present the choice board to your child or the choice bin full of activities and toys and say, what do you want? So what do we do once we've got the choice board or the choice bin ready? What we do is we try to delay giving our child the reward until after they do an activity that we want them to do first. So for example, first you do a puzzle, then you'll get a candy. So that's what a first then is. It's delayed reinforcement. Let's say reward. And it means that your child has to wait a little bit. They have to do one task that you want them to do in order to get something that they want. So what are you going to use as the reward? Any of the motivators that you've collected. And when are you going to give the reward? Right after the task is completed. So let's look at an example. This is the first then board that I've made up and I'm actually going to show it uh, how it works with Jacob. So first I'm going to ask him to do a puzzle and then I'm going to give him a Sour Patch Kid candy. So what you're going to notice is that um, I'm going to give him something that is quite easy for him to do. And I'm going to use simple language and I'm not going to be saying very much to him. I'm going to use just very basic language and I'm going to use gestures to try to help him. So just remember, you don't have to have a fancy laminated first then board like the one I'm holding up here. You can simply just print the words first then on a piece of paper and print them out with the pictures that you found or you can make it e even easier and literally just hold up the two objects, have a puzzle piece in one hand and say first puzzle, then candy and have the candy in your other hand. Jacob, first puzzle, then Sour Patch Kid. Great doing your puzzle. So I hope that was um, fairly easy to understand, but just remember some simple tips. Use simple language. So say less and show more. You notice that I did not uh, use a lot of um, words that weren't necessary. I basically kept it simple because many children with autism and intellectual disabilities have um, not a very good um, oral language ability in terms of understanding and in terms of expressing themselves. So we wanna keep it very simple so that they'll understand what we want them to do. And you start with something that your child can do easily. Again, you want it to be successful the very first time you try this. Um, so for instance, um, you don't start with something that your child absolutely hates to do. Jacob hates getting his hair cut. So that is not something that I would try with him the very first time I was doing a first then, because then I would have to use a very, very powerful motivator like cotton candy, which I have to save for those occasions when I give him a haircut. 
So you want to make it something that's going to be not very, uh, it's neutral for the child to do, not upsetting at all. And you're gradually going to increase how hard the task is over time. But at first, it's going to be something very easy. So Jacob could do that puzzle very easily. Not He was not frustrated at all. And uh, you'll notice that I gave him the candy immediately after and told him specifically what I was proud of him for, for completing the puzzle, instead of saying something really vague like, good job. And the main thing is, keep calm if things don't go your way. And please don't get discouraged. So just to, to remind you again that if you're going to ask your child to do something really difficult, you want to make sure that the motivator that you're going to be giving them is very, very powerful. So please don't do anything like trying to give your child a haircut or cutting their nails, anything like that. Not the first time, not even the first 10 times. Let your child get used to it. Um, you don't want to um, have two tasks that in, in a row that your child doesn't like. So a first then is not first a haircut and then I'm cutting your nails. It's not just an order of the things that you're going to do next. I like to call it um, first broccoli, then cauliflower. Nobody likes that. So it has to be first broccoli, then ice cream. So you get the picture. Something where they're going to be very motivated by that. So that's it for this week. I hope you've learned something new and you might just want to try this. I think it can really be helpful for you in the long run. Uh, keep at it. Just do little little first thens um, each day if you can. If not, that's okay. And if you're really struggling and you really feel like you need um, help and things are really not going your way, I put up a link here. This links up to our mental health and well-being page at the TDSB, and you can find um, links to get you immediate help if you need it. But I hope you are doing okay, and um, I look forward to talking to you again next week, and I'll be talking about how to troubleshoot the first then if things aren't going as planned. All right, take care, and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.